What's the message to your team starting Pac-12 play this uh, The message has been the same as, as we started. You know, is that uh, we got to get better every week. We are working on us and um, and and trying to develop depth, develop continuity, and regardless of the opponent. Uh, but as I said, we got to continue to get better. Come on, focus. Good. 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 That's, that's a great angle. It's a great angle. I think you're always learning as a head coach. There's really no manual once you become a head coach. It's kind of a learn on the run deal. And, and uh, you know, you talk to different people. Um, you gather as much knowledge as you can. But I think in the end, you have to be yourself. Outside edge. Boom. Good. That's it. My dad was a high school football coach, the principal. And mother is a third grade teacher, so I uh, didn't have a real choice <laughs> growing up to do homework before I even got to go outside and play. Do, communicate. Good. That's good. When you take over a program, you want to establish the culture that you think is important, and that culture is in the building. I mean, that culture is not just, you, know, you think when people talk about that, they, they think about players, but uh, it's everything. As I said, the first team meeting was, hey, listen, you know, you, you didn't sign up for me necessarily, so we have to build trust. With that trust, growth happens quicker. Uh, my ability to tell you, hey, here's where you are, but here's where you can go. Coach Sumlin's style is, is, is different. You know, I think it's something that is unique. You know, from the first day, um, he said in our first meeting, you know, said, don't waste my time and I'm gonna waste yours. I think that's something that, you know, really woke everybody up. Man, hey, He'll get vocal when he needs to get vocal. But to me, he's just he's just straight to the point. You know, he directs it right where it needs to be. He calls it the truth. When we've been handed a young person at 17 years old, 18 years old, that's his mom, dad, aunts, the grandmother's prized possession to, to continue to grow with what that family has grown um, into a young man. You know, that's that's really exciting for for me. That's why I do it. Everybody on this team believes in him. They trust in him. So. With that, we'll find success in the future, for sure. From Tucson, Arizona, welcome to the nightcap. As Kevin Sumlin and the Wildcats pursue their first win, the Wildcats still trying to establish an identity. Tate hitches, he throws middle. Touchdown, Wildcats. Here's where he's dangerous. Touchdown, Arizona. All day to throw. Now he launches, wide open, Shun Brown sidesteps a Thunderbird and beats the rest to Paydirts. Touch pass down the far sideline, drops it in the bucket to Poindexter. Everything has clicked. Congratulations to Coach Sumlin on his first win as a Wildcat. Two minutes. Khalil's just a great guy to be around. You know, very rarely do you see him not smiling. The way he does things is a dynamic player. All that being said, you know, up until this year, I think he started maybe seven or eight games, and uh, a lot of, a lot of hype, a lot of accolades, a lot of things. Because when he did start, when he did play, he was extremely explosive. Fox running on the first down. Get set. I remember when I first took my recruiting trip here, he was a freshman that enrolled in the spring and I was watching him and I was like, man, this kid's gonna be great. I like to think I have a lot of passion, you know, because as a quarterback, you, you feed off to your team. So, you know, if you have a lot of heart, then more than likely your team will start playing with a lot of heart also. As good as he was last year, I think he wants to be better and, and we'd like for him to be better. He's a guy that over the years, I've just seen him get better and better and better. He seems to be taking that next step. I'm trying to be the best version of me. You know, I'm trying to give my all, trying to make sure that I'm doing my best so that you know my team can follow the lead. Know where you are on the field. Red zone, right? You're good. Nice. Let's go. Pick up the pace now. Touchdown! Hurry up, 
let's go. All right, get in here. Get in the knee. Just be consistent, right? Just do what you're supposed to do. You guys are getting better. You got better last week. The key to this thing is, what do we got to do this week? We got to get better, okay? And we got to get better individually. And like I told you from the beginning, the best you is the best us. The best you is the best us, right? My assignment, my technique, all right, my effort, my concentration level, that's what I control. Can I be better this week? Hell yeah, you can be better. We can all be better, right? And as long as each one of us is getting better every day, this team's getting better. This team's getting better. And I saw that last week. You guys feel it too, right? So we got to keep it. What, how we approached it last week, we got to continue to take those steps individually. Have to, right? And if we do that, we'll get better every week. And who knows what's going to happen, right? Welcome to Corvallis, a big Pac-12 matchup to kick off conference play. Kevin Sumlin and the Arizona Wildcats at Reeser Stadium to battle Jonathan Smith and the Beavers. Tate coming off a career high, 349 yards and five touchdowns last week. And the give again to J.J. Taylor, a good hole down the left sideline. Taylor, he has gone, touchdown Arizona. And the Cats are up 7-0. Approaching the final minute of this first quarter. Blount from the pocket. Open in the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon State. And we are knotted at seven at Reister Stadium in Corvallis. Tate throws, shut Brown, cutting it back. Brown to the outside with Tate leading the way. Shun Brown fighting. He's in. Touchdown, Arizona. This is a 45-yarder. And it's a fake. Jake Gladding. And Gladding runs, looks like he's got enough for an Arizona first down as the fake field goal works for the Wildcats. Play action, Tate, Sean Poindexter, he's in, touchdown Arizona. From the 29, pump, Blount, drops in the backfield in a sack. And there goes J.J. Taylor, Taylor, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Arizona. An impressive offensive and defensive showing for the Wildcats and a nice road win for Khalil Tate and Kevin Sumlin. I say it all the time, the best you is the best us. And our job is to make you the best you so we can be the best us and we know where we want to go and we know how to get there for our student athletes to be successful. Listen, it's a great effort today. You go on the road, in a conference game and win the game the way you did, y'all be proud of yourselves, right? Yes, sir. Everybody's got to be proud of their efforts. Yes, their effort was great today. But guess what? We can be so much better. Yeah. We can be so much better. The Drive. Shot with Canon EOS cameras and lenses. Coming this season on The Drive. We go behind the scenes of every football program in the Pac-12. It's about smashing someone in the face every single play. To tell the most compelling stories of the players and coaches in the Conference of Champions. For the most in-depth access with your team, watch The Drive on Pac-12 Network.